What is going on fellow mobile gamers? My name is NimbleThor and welcome back to my mobile gaming quest where I find and cover a new mobile game every single day right here on YouTube and I sit down to rant a bit about it and share my first impressions with you guys. Now it was only a matter of time of course but I honestly didn't expect that we'd get to this point so quickly but ladies and gentlemen here it is Tencent's take on the auto chess genre is out and it's called Chess Rush. Now there are two main things that might actually make this auto chess game much much better for us mobile gamers at least in comparison to auto chess by Drodo Studios, Dota Underlords and even Red Tides. Now the first of those things is that we've got this Turbo Rush mode where instead of 35 to 40 minute play sessions we're looking at somewhere closer to 10 to 15 minutes play sessions. And I've heard lots of you guys voice your opinion about the very lengthy gameplay found in Underlords, Red Tides and Auto Chess so this should be perfect for you guys. Now there is still a normal game mode where the matches last about 30 to 40 minutes as well, but in the turbo mode we have less health and we get more mana each round and that's how they've been able to increase the speed of the game. So it's still the same game, the rules haven't changed, will just be done much much faster. Another thing I really like about Chess Rush by the way is that it's much much easier to get into than at least the vast majority of the other auto chess games out there. Now the reason for that is that we've got lots of these small helper UI elements that we can click to just get some more information about what's actually going on here and we've also got a built-in list of strategies for the job as you guys probably noticed before we can click here to see the recommended lineups and then we can simply pick one of these for example, I'm using the six riders, three dragons at the moment. And then within the shop itself, we'll be notified that, hey, for example, this unicorn cavalier over here on the right side actually matches our strategy. And then we can choose to buy that unit. That is a huge help for a new player. And is part of the reason for why I think if you have to pick a single auto chess game and you're new to this genre, you might as well check out Chess Rush because it's so easy to get into as a new player. Oh, wait, we don't have enough room on the playing field yet to deploy that unit. So we'll just have to wait a bit and also we're hoping to get some more of these unicorn cavaliers just one more of them and we'll be able to level them up to level two and as you guys can see some of the other players already have level two units so it's about time that we get started as well now the second thing that tencent has brought to the auto chess genre with chess rush is a co-op mode that allows us as the name kind of implies to play with a friend as well in the co-op mode we share heroes with our teammate and we also share combos and so on and this honestly might just be the reason to check out chess rush at least if you've got someone that you typically play your mobile games with. Now as with all auto chess games of course the only available in-app purchases in Chess Rush is to buy cosmetic items that don't impact the gameplay whatsoever and it's the same with all of these auto chess games out there of course thankfully. I'm glad to see an entire genre of mobile games that all monetize very very nicely. This is already the fourth auto chess game that I've covered here in my channel by the way so if you don't know the genre by now I would strongly recommend that you go check out some of the other videos right here on the channel because I have explained the basic concept of this game over and over again but essentially we buy units from the shop at the start of each round and then we face off against one of the other seven opponents units each round losing HP if we lose that round and then just like in a battle royale game it's all about being the last man standing really the only other thing that you have to know is that we always aim to get three of the same type of units as I said before because that allows us to upgrade them and then of course that it's our hero level that determines how many units we're gonna be able to place on the map at the same time so that's why I'm spending lots of gold on upgrading our main hero so that we can deploy more units on the playing field and that's about it actually Actually, if you didn't know about the genre before, this is Auto Chess 101. There's lots more to dive into though, because there's a huge meta game waiting for you in this game. This rabbit hole is really deep, it's really wide, so don't get lost, but it's very easy to get into these types of games, despite what it might actually look like. I feel like Chess Rush actually sets itself more apart from the competition than any other auto chess game on mobile, by the way. It has lots of quests, it has achievements and so on to keep things interesting between matches. And then there's both a single and the aforementioned duo co-op mode, as well as ranked, casual and custom game modes as well. So overall, if you ask me right now, I would say that you might as well check out Chess Rush if you have to pick a single auto chess game and you don't know about this genre already, as it's very beginner friendly, especially the UI is. And because of the fact that these faster matches will allow you to learn the game much, much faster. Now with all of that said though, I know that many of you guys who are still watching till this point probably already play auto chess games, at least one. Maybe you even play two different auto chess games. And if that's the case, I would love to hear which of these auto chess games Games is your favorite. If I had to pick one right now, it would probably be Chess Rush or Auto Chess by Drodo Studios. 
Underlords is also very interesting, but it's just far less developed at this point. Now, I know that a lot of you guys really love Underlords, and I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying you gotta admit, it doesn't have as many features at this point. And so I'm really looking forward to that game developing further in the future. But maybe I'm wrong though, so let me know in the comment section down below what you think. And with that said, let's just get into the mobile gaming news of the day, because honestly, there's no reason to drag this out anymore. I'm pretty much gonna be the second, or maybe even the first person to lose on this server. <laughs> and, and there's no reason for you guys to see that, that horror that is uh, my luck, and maybe my strategy in this game so far. So, as I was saying, the mobile gaming news of the day is that JRPG and now the Eden has now finally launched in most of the world, with 34 more countries in Europe and Southeast Asia now able to play as well. I will have a video out on this game eventually, by the way, but you guys should already go check it out if you like JRPGs, of course, as this is a really solid JRPG, as in really, really solid. I'm already in love with this game, which is why I actually want to play it a bit more before I eventually make a video on it. But that is it for today. Thank you very much for deciding to stick around to the end of this video, and until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.